Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What a huge month it is for you, without a doubt. We are going to have a full moon in your sign right around the 8th of the month. And this is a moment of truth that may be challenging, it may be difficult for you to have to look at some very strong feelings within where it is that you have power, where it is that you may need to surrender power because it is not yours to have. And it is ultimately this time that can be tremendously transformative, without a doubt, helping you to get in touch with your truth and the way in which that can change you from the inside out. But sometimes in order to get there, we have to transcend other feelings, feelings of uncertainty, of fear, of anger. We are going to have a full moon taking place. Simultaneously, we have a meeting of Jupiter and Pluto. These two planets will be dancing all year, but just a couple of days before this full moon, they will perfect their first of three exact connections. And it is this very configuration speaking to the full moon in your sign that is set to be part of what comes to the surface now. Pluto and Jupiter both are moving through the very bottom of your chart. And this is a part of the sky that connects to home, it connects to your past, it connects to your family of origin. Where it is that you have been is highlighted here. And the slow move of Jupiter throughout this year in this part of the sky has been set to bring healing energy to this very area. Is asking you to expand your understanding and to bring eyes of love where there might have been pain. Well, now with this full moon in your sign, a lot of emotion comes to the surface and there's an understanding on your part as to who you really are and where it is that you want to take forward into your future the best that you know yourself to be and where it is now that you are ready to either do the work or to have the moment that releasing the heaviness of the past requires so that you can fully be here now today. It is also possible that there are some events transpiring with your family of origin, perhaps your parents, and that is part of what is helping you to get in touch with a renewed sense of self, a clarity as to who you are and defining yourself differently in more empowered terms. Leading up to the full moon, we're also going to have a difficult connection between Mars and Uranus. Mars right now moving through fellow air sign Aquarius. And this is about your heart and what you want and tapping into your desires and being surprised by it. If it is that you have children or you want children, well, they may be the source of surprise at this time. But remember, with that full moon, in your sign, you are very much in touch with your own power to bring light, to understand healing, to understand the self in a way that ultimately gives you tools to understand how to navigate this time in a way that not only works to your advantage, but empowers you, helps you to make the most of this time of redefinition so that you're able to excel that much more going forward from here and into your future. Make no mistake, there's a lot of emotion, and I want to be very clear about that, but this is where emotions can help you. This is where they can heal you. This is where, as you move through them, you find a light brighter within you than you knew was there before. As we navigate later into the month, right around the 23rd is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few things, profound and meaningful transformation. That's one part of this energy. The other part of this energy, well, it has to do with your ability to access resources, your relationship to financial institutions. So here's the thing, it's a new moon. New moons bring new opportunities. It's happening hand in hand with Uranus. That brings a quick and surprising quality to this time. At the same time, this new moon will be speaking in a conversation of tension with Saturn. And so there's one layer of this is that this connection between 
Uranus and Saturn that is being awakened now. It will perfect once we move into 2021. In fact, this conversation will be a defining characteristic of 2021, this connection that Uranus and Saturn are going to make. This is a glimpse into some of the larger lessons that are coming up for you once we navigate into next year. So do pay attention to what is happening in your life now. But there's another layer to this, of course, and that is that this is a time when you are being asked to consider what your desires are and what you want, what you're hoping to move towards, what you're passionate about, and where it is that you feel you have the resources for that or not. This could also be a time when you are feeling uh, an eye towards the children in your life and those to whom you are responsible. And there's a desire now to secure funding so that you can ensure that all will be well on that front. Now, one thing to remember is when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. So you can take ease in that. You can take comfort in that. Things might move very quickly and there may be even uh, more bureaucracy than you had anticipated and yet the money you need is there. I would also add with this, because this is a part of the sky connected to profound transformation, connected to regeneration, this could be a time when it comes very much to the surface and understanding of where it is that you are ready to create a meaningful change to your life a desire to reach out to others who can help facilitate this sense of transformation within you, whether that's physical, whether it's psychological or in any area of life, wherever it is that you're hoping for a rebirth, it is this new moon that is going to help you on that front. Now, where it comes to matters of love, a few things. First and foremost, I just want to put it out there. It will be right around the 10th of this month that Venus will go into shadow next month going retrograde in fellow air sign Gemini. Now I'll have a lot to say about this in the Venus retrograde special horoscope. So be on the lookout for that in the first half of this month. Having said that though, this month is important in the context of love in particular because of that full moon in your sign and that new moon as well. Both of them speak very powerfully to what is happening in the context of love, fueling your understanding now. That full moon is helping you to get in touch with what you really feel, where it is that you have felt things were unfair and where it is now that you want something different. Mars connecting with Uranus at this time, well, that does say love may surprise you. It might even be a little bit shocking and take you really off guard. At the same time though, that new moon lets you know that you can be vulnerable to another person even when it's hard. So if you are open to meeting someone new, I do think that the events around the full moon are going to be most significant. It is at that time that there may be a surprise out of nowhere a flirtation or interaction with another person, but it makes you very aware of all the emotions within you as they rise to the surface. Whatever frustrations have been there in the past, whatever regret has been there before, you are looking at it now to heal it so that you can move towards the love that you desire. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that for a lot of people out there, this is an all or nothing kind of month. It is one of those months where you are making a decision, you are making a choice. I do think in the days leading up to that full moon, at the early part of the month, you really do want to watch because the truth of this person, the truth of what you feel, the truth of what you're really wanting from them and whether or not they can give it to you, well, it's all going to come to the surface. You will feel it very deeply. And where it is that this is the person that you feel you can have a future with, it'll be made abundantly clear and any um, barriers within you to that will fall away. But for many out there, this will be a time when you more fully realize that this is not the person for you. And this is where you're ready to go in a whole other direction very quickly. And for those of you in an established bond, 
I do feel like there may be some stress playing out at home in the first part of the month. I'm so sorry to say that, but it does happen sometimes, especially if it is that you live with this person. It is as we navigate into the second part of the month with that new moon, that it may very well be some changes to your partner's income could be part of how it is that you're able to facilitate increased resources into your life. At the same time though, it is this energy that invites you to be more vulnerable, to be more revealing to your partner. It is at this time though, that as a result of some frustrations or heightened emotion, that that ends up giving way to a deeper honesty and a deeper bonding between the two of you. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here. I am gonna say that full moon, it is so powerful, so important for you. It is a moment of honesty whose time has long been coming. Pay attention to what is happening in your life around this full moon, not only for the truth and the sacredness it holds within itself, but also because it is within days of that full moon that Venus enters shadow. Venus is your ruling planet. What happens with Venus isn't only about a particular area of life, but it reaches a deeper part of you. That full moon is gonna reveal some truth about yourself, who you really are, what you really feel, what you really want. It is gonna be this larger Venus retrograde season that's gonna ask you, what you really love. How are you gonna take that out into the world? And so in many ways, it is the energy of this full moon that isn't only isolated to a few days, but rather it sets the stage for even bigger, more sweeping changes that you will move forward with in the weeks, even months ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Saturn special horoscopes, like Venus retrograde special horoscopes, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.